Hey, all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is going to be a video showing you guys and explaining to you guys how I feel about my iPhone 6 Plus. So if you guys want to stick around and stay tuned for how I feel about this phone and the specs, then you guys know what to do. Keep it locked, honey nieces. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thanks. Fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionist. Okay, okay, all my fashions, divas and dolls, like I was saying before. I'm gonna give you guys a review on the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, you guys know that two of them came out. It's the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. The 6 is a 4.7 inch display screen, and this one is a 5.5 inch display screen. Now one thing that you will know and feel that it is lighter than the iPhone 5 5s in the 4 as well as you know very sleek design same colors that it's normally been gray um, space gray silver and I believe yeah gray yeah space gray silver and um, gold yes and um the camera is amazing like it feels like i am taking pictures directly from my canon t3i love 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 this camera as well as what the iphone 6 plus has that the iphone 6 does not have is it has landscape mode you guys see that you can turn your 6 plus this way and it will go that way as well as it has the keyboard I'm gonna show you guys the keyboard um as well it features third party uh developer sites uh keyboards so if you guys want to change your keyboard up and you're tired of it looking like this I'm gonna show you guys if you guys can see that that is in landscape mode as well as the camera is protruding a little bit more. I'm coming up a little closer so you guys can see. It is protruding out the camera. So it's not in how it normally would be in. So yeah, as well as the edges of it is more rounder. You have a more firm grip. More firm grip. Yes, it is bigger, but I've been having my phone for about two months now. And I could tell you guys the 100% honest opinion about how I feel about this phone. It is so user friendly. You would think because it's so big that, you know, it's not user friendly. Now, I will say you guys need a case. If you got this phone or you think about getting this phone, you need to invest in a case. It does not matter if you have the top of the line outer box or you go on eBay and get a nice outer box version case it does not matter you need something on this case because this phone is way too expensive and it is an investment and you don't want to scratch it break it anything like that okay i know we're gonna go on into lie what about the bending okay so there's so many videos circulate uh, circulating circulating on it bending it's possible it can bend but uh why would you want to bend your phone that's stupid i wouldn't do that um like i said this phone is too expensive to be doing all of that so i'm not going to be doing that um as well as the battery life the battery life is amazing i know when i had my original iphone 5 i had all of the iphones to date the original iphone to the iphone now which is iphone 6 plus the battery life is amazing. I've had all the iPhones that ever came out, honeys. And when I tell you guys that the battery, that was one thing that I always complained about with the iPhone series phone, that the battery just was not capable of 
uh, withstanding, you know, you're taking pictures, video, texting, um, browsing the web, um, features like that. And I know me, I browse the web. I'm going to take full advantage of my phone. I take pictures. I do videos. Um, I'm browsing the web. Whether I'm on Safari browsing, if I'm texting, uh, if I'm FaceTiming, I use all of my phone's features. So, I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, I did not, I have not charged my phone since 11 last night. And let me zoom in so you guys can see. Look at my battery right here. Now granted, it's almost about to die, but that shows you I have not charged it since 11 o'clock last night. Like, huh? I remember I will always feel ashamed and embarrassed. I will always bring my chargers with me because I will always be on my phone. I was scared that it would die at any moment, any second. Not with the 6 Plus. Now, I'm not sure about um, the 6 because I don't have the 6. I'm only speaking about the 6 Plus because that's what I have. That's what I've been using. So, I'm giving you guys my personal experiences on the 6 Plus. Okay, yes, I have dropped my phone. No, I do not have any scratches, marks, bends, anything. My phone looks like I just got it. Um, and I've had a case on it. Um, I dropped it when I had a case on it, when I didn't have a case on it, and it has no scratches, no marks, no anything like that. Um, I'm just loving the phone. Now, I was a little bit intimidated of the size because, again, it is bigger, the biggest iPhone that's ever made so I was a little intimidated by that but once I uh, play with the phone um I got so comfortable it's like second nature excuse me second nature to me now I'm in love with this phone I've gotten so many compliments I'm just loving it I love the touch ID feature and that feature has uh branched over from the iPhone S and I love that to where you know you lose your phone or you don't want people, you know, being nosy. You just press your thumbprint, which I'm going to show you guys. Yay! That's what you have to do. I absolutely love this phone i was really contemplating on should i do this video shouldn't i do it i had so many honeys ask me way before i even got my phone i got my phone like the end of i believe the end of i believe september yeah the end of september so it's the end i think the end of september early november I'm not really sure you guys but I've been having my phone almost two months I have the exact date somewhere in this video but I love this phone so much it's like a trail it's like I'll get a new phone then my uncle my favorite uncle in the world get it then my dad will get it so it's always a chain and my dad eating his words because he said he would not get a new phone and I don't know why because he has the um the ancient iPhone 4S. Like, yeah, y'all. I'm not knocking it because iPhone is iPhone, so I'm not knocking it. But it's about time for Daddy to upgrade, and I'm so happy he's doing that today. So I can't wait till he get his phone. He, he, he loves it. I let him play around with mine, and he loves it. The, when I tell you guys, up until now... I made all my videos with my iPhone 6 Plus. And most of you, when I told you guys that, you guys were like, oh my God, like that camera is bananas. I thought you were using your T3i. That's what I'm saying. The camera quality is amazing. Like, I think I will be vlogging from my phone because my phone camera is better than my vlogging camera. I'm just loving it. I'm loving the new design. It's so sleek, so chic, so sexy. I'm loving it. It is just really, really user-friendly. I'm just loving it. Different features that it has that I'm loving. I'm also loving the feature when somebody texts you. And instead of actually going on to that, to your 
uh, your app to text, you could just scroll down and you could just swipe and then you could just text what you want to text without actually going into the app. That's one of my favorite features um, on this phone. Um, I'm just loving everything. I'm loving every, every, everything. This phone is amazing. So don't take my word for it. If you're interested in this phone, I would most definitely say go to your Apple store or your AT&T store or your um, T-Mobile store or your Sprint store or your Verizon wireless store, whoever your carrier is and go check them out because they do have demo phones. Test it out, actually get a feel of it so you know, you know, if this is something you want to get into, is it something you're worth spending your money on? Is it something you want? Not just, oh, you just want to get it because everybody else has it. You actually want it. You, you, you want to get it. So it wasn't because everybody was getting it. I'm just an Apple head. I love Apple. I've been rocking Apple since 2007. <laughs> I've been with Apple since 2007 and I'm never going to leave. I always thought, you know, a big phone, uh, like I will always make fun of my boo because he has, I think, the Galaxy Note 3 or 4. And I always will make fun of him. Now that I have this phone, he's like, so mm, this is you something y'all you want, honeys. I'm telling you, you are not going to regret it. I love it. I love my phone. It is the bomb.com. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I typically have phones, you know, I keep my iPhone for at least two, three years, even though they say, you know, you're supposed to, you know, change your phones every two years. But I'm the type of person, I spend way too much money on the phone, so I'm going to get my money's worth. The last phone I paid for, which was the iPhone, I think four or five I had paid out of my pocket of course no upgrades I had um had that phone for like three four years till it died then I finally got the iPhone 5 with a contract you know up updated my contract so yeah honeys that's it and I will tell you guys if you're like me and you can uh use your upgrade $299 $399 $499 or you can do an installment plan with your mobile carrier. I'm with AT&T, so it is um, the next program. So it's either 18 or 24 months. And you pay a uh, added amount on your bill. And my bill was roughly about 100 bucks a month. Like 98 You might as well say $100. So I pay $50 a month. So it's one fifty, which is not, you know, that bad. So yes. So, you know, if you're paying out of contract and you're not on a contract, I think it's six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine, I think. One of those. So yeah, look into it. You do not have to buy it outright. Check your uh mobile carriers, um, Payment plans, they will work with you. Trust me, honeys. That's what I did because I was not eligible for an upgrade. I used my upgrade like I previously mentioned to you guys um, last year in June. So it was like a year I had my phone, but the iPhone that I had was so defective. The speaker blew out. The home button came out. Like it was it was a mess. But yeah, honeys, check it out. That's my personal opinion. Uh, yeah personal opinion so that's it I want you to do one thing for me stay fly stay fashionable for less also tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel till next time honey follow me on Instagram mm-hmm